could. Luke Dempsey's side upset the odds once more, or would it be Leash advancing to a meeting with Meat on June the 20th? Jim Carney, watch this one for us. At a pack, Dr. Cullen Park, Carlo are forced to make two late changes. Fullback Stephen O'Brien is ruled out by injury. Brian Farrell moves from right fullback to fullback, and in comes Paul Cashin. While up front, there's a change in the full forward line where Brian Carberry can't start because of a hamstring injury, but he may play later. In at the start comes Brian Kelly. A look at the leash line-out shows number five, Darren Rooney, playing championship football and hurling inside 24 hours. But Leash have also had to make a change. That's up front, where left-half forward Mark Dunn is ruled out by an ankle injury. Cullen Parkinson switches from full forward to left half forward and into the full forward line comes the vastly experienced Mick Lawler. The busy energetic Cullen Parkinson onto the ball. Noel Garvin in support. Good ball through towards uh, Brian McDonald. And opting to uh, fist the ball over the bar and... Uh, it's level, a point apiece in Dr. Cullen Park. Uh, John Hayden uh, found Willie Nevin very well there. Thomas Walsh with a good run. Now he's under a bit of pressure here, he gets a good ball too. Towards uh, Sean Cadner. Good ball in. And a goal! Well, that all started with a good ball through to Johnny Nevin, and when they worked it through, it just required a quick, accurately delivered pass. And when it came through, Brian Kelly in from the start of this match. What a good selection he proved with a Carlo goal. Well, good work by Colin McCarthy at first to keep each out, but here's Colin Parkinson. Chance of a score at the second attempt, and it's over the bar by Colin Parkinson. That's a good reply by Leash. Inside a minute, they've hit back with a Cullen Parkinson point. A tremendous kick out by James Clark, the Car Carlo keeper, even allowing for the win, getting great distance into his drive. To Mick Lawler. Now, Tom Kelly has come forward, which he so often does, with confidence. Mick Lawler, off his left. Tremendous drive by Mick Lawler. Super point! by one of the most experienced players on the Leash team. Brian Kelly, getting it through to Mark Carpenter. The Carlo of only one man inside, Simon Ray. And again, a Carlo move finishes with a bad, bad wide. Tom Kelly, to get it to uh, Paul McDonald. Looking for his uh, first cousin, uh, Brian. Here from the Alves Killian Club. Now Brian McDonald, lovely touch, a lovely turn by Brian McDonald. Oh, what a point this would be, and it is! The score of the first half by Brian McDonald. We're in injury time in the first half. Four minutes into injury time, Ross Munnelly looking for his third point. And it's been punched in, but it's a free out. And the referee, Michael Ryan, was uh, decisive there. He has given a free out. Carlo bidding to open it up across field. Thomas Walsh had called for that ball. Picked up a great position. Now, is he running into trouble here? He's got Johnny Nevin outside him. Johnny Nevin. Good turn inside. But again, it's very tight. The least defence are playing really, really well. Even pushing Carlo out the field. Mark Carpenter couldn't get through there. Worked it to, to Willie Power. Almost no room for Carlo to play with. But at last they find a bit of space. And they find a score. And Brian Kelly, the man who got the goal in the first half, has got a vital point here for Carlo. The free man is Kevin Fitzpatrick. His first touch just letting him down for a second. Giving it to uh, Mick Lawler. Back to Fitzpatrick. Score on from Kevin Fitzpatrick. Good drive, great point. Just when Leash needed a bit of inspiration, they got it from Kevin Fitzpatrick. Willie Power. A good run by Mark Carpenter to Brian Carberry off his left. 
But again, there was a tackle going in. Every time a cowboy gets the ball, these defence come around. And again, a tremendous block down. But it comes to Sean Kavner. Off his left. Good ball by Sean Kavner. Good score. Carlo needed that one. Kavner, a good man to take his score. Noel Garvin wins it once again. And Kevin Fitzpatrick is again in support. Good run here by Garvin. Plays it through to a free man. Driving. Chris Conway. Great score. A captain's example. Super score by Chris Conway. And Leisha two up again. Willie really Power for, for Carlo. Setting up a move. Great ball through. Knocking it down to Mark Carpenter in front of the goal. Punched over the bar. Good score. Very good score. Carlo are back in contention. Chris Conway working hard in the second half of Leisha, winning a lot of good ball to Kevin Fitzpatrick, to Porrick Clancy. He's been a very good substitute, Porrick Clancy. Goes for a point, Clancy. Marks his return with a spectacular point. He's worked hard since he's come in in the second half. One minute into injury time. Here's Ross Munley against Joe Byrne. That's a good battle. Munley gets the free. Two minutes overtime then, Chris Conway, the Leash captain with a super kick, 15 points to 1-7. And now Mikko can breathe a little bit easier as he looks at the watch, which will tell him that we are over the two minutes of injury time calls. So there is the final whistle with Leash the winners on a scoreline of Leash 15 points, Carlo 1-7. Three times in the second half, Carlo got it back to one point. On all occasions, we were thinking, could there be a draw in this match? But on all occasions, Leash went upfield and got the necessary scores, which sees them advance on that scoreline of 15 points to Carlo's 1-7, 10 points. Our first game back, Championship, you know, this, the way it is, you know, you get to the pace of Championship football again, we haven't played about seven or eight weeks, you know, so it is a bit of a shock for us, but we needed that badly, you know. And they are very good, they're a good side, you know, they proved it out there today, you know, they were up for it, they wanted to win it, and they gave it a good go, you know. At crucial times in the match, we were, weren't and awarded um, frees that everybody could see were frees. And I mean, I don't want this to be sort of a predictable criticism of a manager that is now out of the Leinster Championship, but something has to be done. I mean, we have our midfielder in there going for an x-ray to a sternum from a blatant shoulder charge about 20 yards out and the referee plays on. Leash were getting much easier frees at crucial times, especially the, the, the pick-up by Brian Carberry and the last couple of frees. So it's very, very frustrating. And like Hugh Kenny last week, it, it seems to happen to the teams that are trying to make the breakthrough. Can I just say, do you know, that last week aided and abetted by Bernard Flynn that we actually, uh, I actually dumped Carlo out of the Championship a week earlier. So no slight was, uh, was meant to any of the minnows of the weaker county. So mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Uh, Paul, it wasn't the one-sided result many people expected. And again, is, I see, we listened to Ro Luke Dempsey's comments there. Is that the case of another losing morning manager, a case of sour grapes justified or not? Well, I think you have to give a lot of credit to Carlo today. They came out and, and played very good football. Um, they were responsible for their own downfall, I think, today. Uh, a lot of the time they, they had a lot of possession but you know took wrong options up front. Um, good game of football, good second half and uh, they'll be pleased enough although Leash have a lot of work to do before they meet me in the, in the semi-final. Paul, one of the main talking points in the first, in the first half was Leash's disallowed goal, Chris Conway's goal. What did you make of it? Well, when I saw it, I, I, I thought it was a perfectly legitimate goal. And uh, we'll take a quick I, look at I've it watched here. it a couple of times since, and it hasn't changed in my mind. There's a long free in here from Ross Munley. Chris Conway just goes in, boxes it to the net. I can't see anything wrong with the with, with the goal. Would you not um, say that maybe perhaps he was in the small square before the ball arrived? Well, in fairness to the referee, he blew very very quickly uh, position, for for a free out. I couldn't see anything wrong with it. He, he, he you know, the. Carlo defence kind of stood still uh, and let him run in. I think it was a legitimate goal and, and it, at, at an important time as well, just before half time. Paul, um, Carlo's performance was a bit of the cure at eggs variety. It was uh, good in patches. 
Yeah, they, as I said, they they, uh, half, they were responsible for their own downfall. They had plenty of possession today to, to first actually half go ahead and win the game. Poor. Yeah, they, they, as I said, they had plenty of possession, but they wrong options up front. Um, worked the ball out very well from the fence, but once they got into the scoring area, uh, a lot of bad wides, and they mixed a, a lot big of improvement a lot in the of, second half. Yeah, a lot, they mixed a lot of good and a lot of bad. They improved a lot in the second half. Here, here we see a great score from from Sean Kavanagh off his left foot, who had a very good game today, uh, and another score which was worked up. And you know they can be very proud of their performance today, and you know they just fell short in the last five minutes. Kevin, Leisler will need a big improvement. Uh, uh, going on today's performance, I think they'll need a big improvement to beat Meath, will they? Well, I think Meath have plenty of improvement to do all on their own uh, on the evidence of last week's uh, uh, match. I would say, Pat, that you know these guys are the Leinster champions. They won't. You know, is, it, is it the case second year round the surprise element is gone? They now know what they play like. Uh, uh, yeah, but there's a question of confidence. Like these young Leash fellas are confident. They're Leinster champions. Uh, they will improve. We know that today was uh, you know just get get through this game. Get get no big injuries. Get all our lads back together and get ready for Mead.